Hey guys, Taylor here, the Fit Expat, back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be traveling to Lecheng. It's a small city, about an hour and 10 minutes away from Guangzhou on the high-speed train. I'm going there to help out an old friend of mine with something, so I'm gonna be going there for the day, taking the high-speed train. Now, this is the first time I've been on the high-speed train since before the pandemic. It's been a long time. Uh, I've been on the train to Shenzhen, but that's just the inner city through train. This is the first time I've been on the actual high-speed train uh, since, geez, 2019, I think. It's been a while. so. Uh, I'm excited. I'm just really excited to get out of Guangzhou for the day because I've been here for almost 10 months. I have, have not been outside of Guangzhou for almost 10 months. So today is going to be a fun day. Uh, I'm going to vlog the day. We're going to get out of Guangzhou, go to Lechang, check it out and help out a friend and uh, show you uh, what the high speed train is like here in China post pandemic. Well, towards the end of the pandemic, I should say. Uh, it might be a little bit different than it was back in 2019. That's for sure. We're going to go check it out and we're going to have a great day. Let's get going here. Guys, so I made it to Guangzhou South Railway Station. It's the first time I've been here since 2019. It's been a while. Uh, it doesn't seem as busy as before, which is good. Got my passport here. Good thing about now is they have e-tickets for foreigners, so I don't have to pick up an actual paper ticket. I just got my passport, which has all my ticket information on it. Go to scan it and I'll go through security. Uh, much easier now than it was back in 2019 that's for sure so right now I'm just gonna try to get through security get up to the concourse level and got some time to kill maybe we'll get a nice cold beer to wait uh, well, while we're waiting our stay and uh, yeah looks not so busy today which is great okay so <laughs> Apparently I can't use the machine with my passport, that's just for Chinese people, so I had to go to the actual person. But yeah, I just had to show my passport and have all the ticket information, which is great. So it really beats waiting in a line for 40 minutes sometimes to pick up your paper ticket, which is what uh, I was doing before. You know, sometimes I would go to the train station, you know, like a week before, pick up my ticket, but you have to wait. You know, sometimes 30, 40 minutes, sometimes even up to an hour, sometimes if it's really, really busy. So it's just much easier this way. So I made it to security, that was easy. They made, me, they made me open my water bottle and drink it in front of them though, just to check that it wasn't some kind of toxic chemical or something like that. But I'm through and I've got about 40 minutes or 45 minutes until my train. So that's what I like to do, to be honest. I like to get here early and just find out where I need to go and relax. Uh, now I'm gonna grab an ice cold beer. Actually, I'm gonna find my gate. So I make sure I know where the fuck that is. And then, uh, I'm ready to go. Let's get an ice cold beer while we wait.
everything seems to be on time. If uh, if the train leaves on time, we should be there just after 2 o'clock. It's only about an hour and 10 minute train ride from Guangzhou, so hopefully everything is on time. It seems like it's going to be. And uh, my, my old friend is picking me up at the train station when I get there. So, I got one more beer in my bag. That should tie me over for an hour. And uh, yeah, it should be a nice ride. Hopefully nobody's sitting next to me and I can get some shots out the window. Long time no see. How you doing? Good. Good to see you again. Hey, no problem. Yeah, I, got, I ordered. I ordered one on the train, uh, but they didn't bring it until like five minutes before I got off. So just <laughs> finishing. It. Wow, it's nice. Nice scenery here. Nice scenery here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the air. The air. The air. The air is much better. Yeah. 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 Okay. Is it the first time for you to come here, right? Yeah, yeah, and I've How never been. Uh, I've, I've heard of it, but uh, I've never been. Actually, you come here so early, you know. Will you start over there by the stairwell? Yeah, yeah, I wanted to come early because I, I want to just walk, maybe find out exactly what I need to do. Okay. And also, maybe just I'll walk around, take some video, and just relax. Do <laughs> um, <laughs> you yeah. get some view? Uh, maybe a couple. Alright guys, so I'm here in Lichung now. As you saw before, I met up with my friend Jack. And uh, we're, everything's all set for tonight for what we're doing. And actually, slight change of plans because I was supposed to go back to Guangzhou tonight. I had a, they booked my train ticket to go back. But he just asked me, kid you not, he asked me to stay for tonight. They have, they have since refunded my ticket and we've booked a new ticket for tomorrow morning and we've booked, they booked me a hotel for tonight. I picked up an ice cold Paps Blue Ribbon for the walk. Five RMB for a tall can. Five RMB, that's, that's like a, it's one Canadian dollar for a tall boy of Paps Blue Ribbon. <laughs> Paps Blue Ribbon, it's more popular here in China than it is in Canada, that's for sure. Um, anyway. I don't know where I'm gonna go. I'm just walking around. Got dark clouds in the sky. That's the thing is, I hope I don't wanna get caught in the rain, but I would like to try to get some, you know, some views, some views of the mountains over there I saw. So I, I wanna try, try to get to an open place to see the mountains, get some nice shots of the mountain, but I'm just walking around now.
really crazy. I've been walking around and I haven't seen a single person wearing a mask. Not a single one. I have not seen a single person wearing a mask yet, uh, which is crazy because in Guangzhou, um, everybody's wearing a mask outside. And if you go in a public place, everyone's wearing a mask. But here in Lachang, nobody's wearing a mask. So I kind of feel weird wearing mine, actually. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Nobody's wearing one. Burger and chicken. Kind of like a knockoff KFC kind of. Uh, let's go give it a try. Hi. Hi, so I got my food at Wall's. It's pretty much like KFC. Got a crispy chicken sandwich, zinger sandwich, looks pretty good. And fries and a Coke, 25 RMB, 5 Canadian dollars. Not bad. Really hot. They must have just cooked it fresh actually. It's really, really hot. Uh, crispy. Nice. Nice. A little bit of a spicy kick to it as well. The fries are crispy too, and it seems like they're very fresh as well. This, they must have just cooked this, because not there's nobody in here. They must have just cooked to order, I guess. Um, all, right, not bad, not bad, all right guys so we just finished up it's almost 9 p.m my friend is just in a meeting right now so i'm just waiting for him and then we're gonna get to the hotel and drop off our stuff and i think we're gonna go out to get some drinks that's the plan all right so just got to the hotel now got my room looks really nice actually check it out it's quite big this is my room okay tv chair this is the washroom area. What's in here? Oh, this is the shower. It's quite a big shower, actually. It's quite big. And I guess this is the toilet. You see? Oh, yeah. Toilet area. Okay, this is my room for the night. Uh, I'm just going to get ready, and then I'm going to go meet my friend downstairs, and we're going to go grab some drinks. Yeah. Let me see. Hey guys, this is my friend Jack. He's the one that invited me here for today. Jack and I used to work together a long time ago. Now he's here in Lachong and he invited me up for the day to help him with the job. And we just finished for the day. We had a nice day. I think it was a great day. Don't you think? Yeah, great day. Great day. Definitely. So we just got some beers together. Yeah, Cheers, yeah, Jack. Together, together. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Okay. And we're going to have a nice night. Enjoy some drinks. Yeah. Drinking Chinese brandy today. It's only 38%, but it feels a lot stronger. Yeah. It feels a yeah, lot stronger. stronger. Yeah, it feels a lot stronger than 38%. Yeah. Got a bit of a sweet taste to it. I'm not really a brandy guy, but it's going down quite nice. This looks good. Yeah. Spicy fish. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to take care of some of this spicy fish. Go down well with these ice cold beers. <laughs> yeah, so. very spicy. <laughs> yeah. yeah but ready. I guess it's very delicious. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready for this. All right, guys, so we just finished dinner, and they are treating us to a massage. The company is treating us to a massage. Uh, my, friend, my friend Jack has just gone to the washroom. So we're in this room. We're going to get a massage right now, and... Be great. Uh, they give us some fruit here. Uh, Jack, how you doing? You alright? Yeah. We're about to get 
a nice massage here, here in uh, La Chung, and we just had a we're, nice yes. dinner, nice Hi. drinks, and uh, we're just enjoying our night, and uh, it's gonna be great. I haven't had a massage for like, geez, I can't even remember the last time. It's been yeah. several years since I've had a, a nice massage, and I could really use this. So we finished the massage. We're playing some pool just downstairs near our hotel, and uh, Jack's destroying me right now. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> He's killing me. He's killing me at this. Uh, but we're, we're playing some pool just downstairs at the hotel. Okay, so it's the morning time. It is 7 a.m. in the morning. I woke up as I normally do. No problem. Uh, I'm just getting ready now. Gonna take it easy. Maybe go out and grab something to eat. And then I'm gonna catch my train back to Guangzhou. And I'll be back in Guangzhou by 10 a.m. this morning. All right, guys, so that's it for the video today. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a like, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for some more videos on life in China. All right, guys, until next time, this is Taylor, the Fit Expat. Have a great day.